cigarettes in Arkansas only cost six bucks. You fucked up, bitch! Fuck. The most beloved of swear words. Pig fuck! The single most versatile word in the English language. You got knocked the fuck out! It's fucking true. And fuck has been celebrated extensively in cinema. You fucker! Go fuck yourself. I can't believe you motherfuckers! Don't fuck with me, fellas! Fuck! It's been used to comedic effect. Fuck you too! Go fuck yourself, San Diego. It's been used for dramatic effect. You fuck my wife. What? You fuck my wife. Sometimes it is iconic. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Sometimes it's the whole scene. I want a fucking car right fucking now. And sometimes it's the whole fucking movie. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. But what makes a fuck truly great? Most fucks in film are truly unremarkable, often used as filler or a crutch writers and improvising actors can lean on as a way to add a little spice without really saying anything about the characters of the story. You've been drinking, you need to stay the fuck inside and not intimidate the mailman. That's it. Fuck you! You need to shut the fuck up! Or a derivative way of inserting stakes or intensity into an otherwise flat scene. You know what? I haven't got five fucking minutes! Another common go-to is to use fuck as a threat. I would have fucked you in the ass Saturday. I'll fuck you in the ass the next Wednesday instead. Woo! Often fucks are established as vital vernacular for the characters and the worlds they inhabit. What the fuck are you talking about? What, you, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. In these instances, the word loses any sort of weight and becomes just another word, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But frequency of use alone does not solely remove the effectiveness of the word. Sometimes it is the quantity itself which gives the fuck its quality. But a truly great fuck comes from deep inside the character. Uh, what the fuck Always am I doing here? The what the fuck am I doing here? When all other words fail and fuck is the only possible response. Fuck. In searching for the best fuck in film history, there are a ton of things to consider. We've already seen quite a few of the best and... Oh, oh here's another good one. Which one is it? It's the one that said bad motherfucker. But one stands out among all the rest, and it doesn't come from an actor the likes of Joe Pesci, Nicolas Cage, or Samuel L. Jackson, and not from a film directed by a Scorsese or a Tarantino or a Spike Lee, and not from a film lauded for its profanity like Goodfellas, Scarface, or Commando. Fuck you, asshole. But from an often overlooked film, David Fincher's first feature film, Alien 3, or Alien Cubed, if you want to be a fuck about it, and no context needed, here it is. Fuck! With one fuck, Morse, played by Danny Webb, expresses the sentiment of an entire room and potentially entire theater full of people. This full-bodied and full-throated fuck is the one and only word which could possibly express the gamut of emotions coursing through the suddenly changed and doomed characters beset upon by the alien threat. This fuck also acts as an exclamation point marking the end of a chapter for the characters and the film itself. It is essentially the same moment as this. Shit just got real. But while Bad Boys 2 brings as much attention to the moment as possible through the now cliche Michael Bay shot, drawing out this superfluous moment as long as possible and focusing our attention on the faces, Alien 3 takes a step back, puts the camera on a tripod, allows us to see most of the cast, and gives Morse the space to say with his whole body, FUCK! The actor makes a three-course meal out of one word which marks a turning point in the film. It is a masterclass in simplicity delivered with deft precision. It is simultaneously comedic and tragic, because when everyone is left speechless, the only thing left to say is the one word which can mean just about everything. Enough is enough! I have had it with these monkey-fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane! Thank you for watching Raised on Film. What do you think is the best F-bomb in film? Share your thoughts below in the comments, and if you like what we do, subscribe, like, and share. And stay tuned, we've got more coming.